Now we're going to go ahead and change out the air dryer media. That's one of the more fun parts. First we're going to need to remove the cover from this guy. So let's go ahead and take off the grounding wire. And disconnect the LED cable. Now we can move this guy out of our way. So to gain access to them, it's from the top. We're going to remove these snap rings and the grate and pour out this media. First to gain access to it, pull these guys back. Which is always fun. And then we're going to gain access to the air dryers. Uh, go ahead and pull them away using the, with the springs and push it up from below. These bent over parts, just go ahead and bend them back. They're bent over typically for shipping purposes. And remove the snap rings. From both chambers. And occasionally move it back up if it gets out of your way. We'll go ahead and pull the grates out with anything handy. And we've got more snap rings to pull out. And All these tools can be purchased separately. Now just go ahead and give us a call and we'll get you pricing on it. Uh, and then we'll just dump the old media out. Keep in mind that there's screens on the bottom. The screens, we want to make sure they're replaced all the way down at the bottom. These keep these beads from falling into the solenoid valve. So just make sure they're back down at the bottom. Uh, then we're going to replace it with our new media from the maintenance kits. And then go ahead and just pour the media back in. A funnel does make this easier. Try not to overfill it as these guys will get everywhere. Just like that. Uh, we'll tap the media down just to settle everything. And we'll replace the snap rings and the grates. And then we just reverse the previous steps, putting the snap rings back in to support the grate. Let's go ahead and bend these back. And push the air dryers back in to their original spots. Uh, Clean up any mess that you may have made, and we're good to go on this unit. Uh, also included in the maintenance kit are these silica gel crystals for the indicating chamber to give us a status for the air dryers. Uh, let me go ahead. And, this doesn't quite actually need uh, to be replaced, but we'll go ahead and go through it just to show you how. First, loosen up the clamps. And let's go ahead and take this fitting off. Most of these fittings are just a little past finger tight. And we pull it out. We're going to remove this bushing and just leave it hooked up. We're going to first remove this little screen. And then pour out the media. Usually to trash. And then we'll pour in our replacement. Again, easier with the funnel. Then you put the screen back in. And we will actually retape up this thread usually. Screens back on. And reassemble. Uh, 
Um, another part we're going to be changing out is the check valve. There is one located here and another at the injector. The particulate filter is included in all of our systems, uh, as well as in the maintenance kits. Just simply go ahead and change out these parts. Keep in mind that we're going to remove the plugs on either end of this guy to keep it fresh. Just go ahead and pop it out. all this stuff with my and then uh, remove the plug from both ends.